What is going on everyone, it is JakerGG and welcome back to episode 16 in the Cosmic PvP Let's Play series. Today, of course, we are here on Ice Planet and I'm going to be keeping it quiet. This video is pretty late and I wanted to record a quick video here. It's not going to be too long of an episode, but we have done, we, we got some things done. I made some trades and uh, we acquired a book that we've been needing for a long time. Now, I've had this grinding sword, as you can see, in PV1 for a very long time. I've had the looting five for a while. Someone gave it to me and I've been adding things as long as I go. And if you guys have been following the recent videos, I've tried adding two Inquisitive Four books to this and they both worked. One was like 40 something and I think one was like 80, high 80s I think and both of them didn't work so I finally got another inquisitive 4 book and it is where is it it's right here it's 89% now at first I'm like okay I'll white scroll and put it on but I'm like I just right when I got it, I'm like no I'm not white scrolling I'm not yoloing this I am just getting this up to 100% so we're gonna have to tinker some books or something to get some dust we're probably gonna have to buy some dust which let's see if there's any on the AH eh, there's none on the AH of course so um let me just go and chat really quick and ask, uh, say that I'm buying Legendary Dust. Um, buying Legendary Dust, message me. I probably should have done this before the video, but I just wanted to get the video started. Um, also, shout out to MLG Pig 5 He's actually right here above me, and he, he gave me all these books just now, so that's pretty sick. Um, we can put these away in here. But anyways, uh, yeah, so I haven't really been doing much on Cosmic. One quick thing I wanted to talk about here in a second um, about my faction and everything. Uh, so, yeah, let's see. How much? I have a 24% primal. Um, uh, oh, wrong. There's a lot of people that name start with its with a Z. Uh, what was I going to Yeah, so I, I need 11%. Um, what is this guy? Whose faction is this? Want some cookies? Wait, no. Was that the... No, it's, this is the right faction. Oh, okay, so this is complexity. Um, yeah, like, the thing is... I've been trying to, yeah, two, 24 is too much, um, how much for 5, MSG, it's underscore, I, don't, I honestly don't know how much dust goes for at this point, 5%, what, 200k? I don't know if that's too much or too little, but we'll see, but anyways guys, there has been a lot of stuff going on with my faction, like, I don't know, I don't really, I'm not enjoying myself here, I mean, nothing against the people in it, I'm just, there's not, like, there's only one or, like, a few people who are active. I mean, I haven't really been active on Cosmic. I haven't been playing that much. I just haven't been enjoying myself as much as I used to ever since the whole thing with Monarch and just Fran stopped playing and Dragon Ball joined another faction. It's, it's hard to, um, like, enjoy myself and everything uh, for 4%. I don't know if he thinks it's a bad offer or something, but meet me at spawn, okay. Either he's surprised that I'm giving them that much or, I don't know, I guess we're going to pay him 200k, though. Uh, slash trade, it's underscore, but yeah, there's been like, there's a video of, of my leader hacking, and I've heard from people that he, that he dosses, so I just, I just don't like the vibe, like everyone, I see people in chat like saying, oh, Jake or 1311, your, your leader dosses, or your leader, your leader hacks, or something like that, I mean, okay, four, oh, he's giving me one, awesome, um, I don't really know if he dosses, but I'm pretty sure he hacks, and he's been banned before for hacking, so, I mean, I don't know, I'm just trying to find a better fraction, uh, I'm gonna be honest, I don't wanna, like, I know this is gonna sound really selfish, wait, why is this guy, why am I trading this guy? Oh yeah, he won a $1, no, I'll trade him, withdraw, $1, um, I don't really wanna join a faction where I have to build a new base, and I know that sounds, like, selfish, but you guys have known, like, since the start of the map, I've not been, like, I've literally not had, like, a setup full base ever on this map and that's just it's just really been like a tough map for me and i'm sure you guys have tell have been able to tell a lot of people are saying that my factions like their episodes are going downhill and um i can't I, I can kind of agree with that they have been not up to par with like my last season just like i always look back at my last season and last season was just so awesome like season uh season two or map three was just such an awesome season you know with everyone like jagnall and fran and everyone in eviscerate and this season has just not gone well but actually let me go message want some cookies uh can you invite or wait first i want to ask like how much how much spawner value do these guys have want some cookies uh they have 118 oh their faction rank six so um let me message want some cookies um will i get access to blazes really getting access to blazes is all i want i don't i don't really mind like if i don't have access to igs or if i don't have access to certain things all i really want is to be able to grind and get books and stuff um 
Want 1,000 unarmed? MSG Fluffy, sure. I'll take 1,000 unarmed. I don't know if he's trying to sell it or what, but, I mean, who wouldn't take 1,000 unarmed? I would love to get my unarmed max, like, right off the bat. That'd be pretty cool, but I think we can actually tinker some of these, uh, legendary books that I don't really need. Uh, I was thinking of YOLOing this Kill R5, because we do have 100% black scrolls. Um, <laughs> I wanted you to, okay. Um, where did Want Some Cookies message me back? Um, I wish you want, uh, let me just make sure you got the message. So, uh, yeah, let's, okay, so we're gonna YOLO the Kill R5, the Great Sword 5, it's a, it's a max book, but I saw one going for like 100k with really good rates, so we got dust, we got 3%, perfect, that is, per that's totally worth it. Um, but I saw that that book is just not that good and it sells for really cheap, so I don't really need it, but we can tinker one more thing, we can either tinker this, and hope for the best, um, we'll go to Home Vault and see if we have any books here. Um, okay. No, we only have those books. Okay, so let's go ahead and slash tinker, tinker this book. I know it's a pretty decent book, but I get these all the time. Okay, that wasn't worth it. That sucks, but we still need 3% legendary magic. So buying, I'm going to say it, buying 3% legendary uh, dust for, for 150k. Okay, there we go. 150k. But, uh, yeah, we still have all this gear in here and stuff, but we can go ahead and, and uh, just YOLO this color 5 So let's do Kit, Kit Glacier. Um, let's throw all this off. All we need is a sword. Hopefully no one sees all the stuff on the ground and flies up here. That would be pretty unfortunate. Okay, I don't want to YOLO that. If I would have done that, I would have been really um, disappointed. All right, color 5 going on. Okay. I was I was I was expecting that to not work, so that's all right. We should have just tinkered it, but whatever. At least we we tried it. We have an Inquisitive three, which I'm obviously not going to use anymore. And then we have a Killer of four, which I'm probably going to end up using. So, uh, yeah, you'll get access to blazes. Okay, MSG wants cookies. Okay, uh, you can invite me. Uh, so I'm going to be leaving this faction. I mean, I I originally joined because I saw Sunny was in it. Um, and it's just it's just not not working out in this faction. I mean, like I said, nothing against the people in it. And uh, I'm gonna like I'll be honest, I was not really that active in the faction or anything. But we're gonna be joining Complexity. MLG Pig says to come to spawn. He says he has the spot. This guy is just the real MVP. He hooked it up with four of those books. He also he also gave me this G Kiss Orb with Divine One. And I also I also have this one from Lox Tech. Lo I don't know how to say his name. It's it's L O X T C H. But yeah. Um, Trade MLG Pig 5. Okay. Let's trade this guy up, and then we can go ahead and check out this base if they're going to, like, TP me. We can check it out. Um, if he, He's going to be 3%. 2. Wow, this guy. This guy is coming in clutch with the Legendary Magic Dust. Just when we need it, we're going to get this Grinding Sword, like, almost completely maxed out. We're going to still need Kill Aura. Um, I'm thinking that I'm just, like, not going to use Dust on the Kill Aura 4, because at the end of the day, it's 89. Like, that, that thing better work. And if it doesn't... I mean, it's only Kill R4, so I probably would've gotten Kill R5. Um, so, dudes. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go in PV1 and grab my Grinding Sword and put on the Inquisitive 4. Um, let me just make sure we're all good. We have Reforged Shackle Rage, nothing we don't want. Boom. There it goes, Inquisitive 4. G, G, so let's see. Uh, once cookie says TP, TPA, want some cookies. All right. Go ahead and put this grinding sword away for now. We got the kill our four book, and we are in oh, what looks to be the blaze grinder. Sweet. So let's go slash set home blaze. Oh, I want to make sure if I monk head if I left the faction and made him overclaimable, I'd feel so bad. All right, good. They're not overclaimable. Um, yeah. So it looks like he has a brood mother. Oh, look at that. So um, anyways, guys. Looks like there's a blaze right now. Ooh, 41 blazes. I mean, I don't know how long this has been AFK'd for. I'm gonna actually ask him, um... Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm recording right now if you, if you want to do it. Um, I'm not sure how many blazes are in here. I guess I could ask him, but, uh, yeah. Got the Killer R4 book. I'm down. Uh, okay, he says... Alright. Um, alright, let me go to my spot. Sweet, so we get, we're getting a, a... Dude, honestly... Perfect start to join this faction. They they they're letting me fight. I mean, I get access to the blazes, and now they're letting me fight a freaking brood mother. It doesn't get any better than that. Um, Jaker, <laughs> what? <laughs> um, anyways, 
Let's go ahead and XP. So we have the third 1,000. Let's just get a, a legendary book just in case we die with. I don't want to die with all this XP. So we'll put this legendary book right here, and then let's get an axe out. Um, TP when I say okay. Uh, let me just get like some stuff to fight the boss. Well, I don't need anything crazy. Just you know the the simple pots and stuff that should be good. So ready to fight this boss. Um, I'll probably get like an ultimate. I think you get ultimates from a broodmother. Um, hopefully I'll get an ultimate. But we still have this shard rank quest to do, so I think I'll just do that while I'm there with them, because you know I'll be um, I'll be safe. You know, I'll, I mean at least it's only a minute, so it's it's really easy. Um, I really could just jump down to spawn and do it, because a minute is like nothing. And I also have this rank blizzard, which I don't even know what I'm gonna do with yet. Obviously, it's a very expensive rank. I'm, this is the highest rank I've ever had. Um, I think other than this, I had a sh I didn't I don't think I've ever had a freezer rank. I know I haven't had a glacier rank, but I think other than this, the highest I've had a shard. Okay, TPA wants some cookies. Oh, okay, good. Um, yeah, the highest I think I've ever had a shard, so it's pretty cool getting that blizzard rank. If you guys didn't know, I got it last episode. I traded the soul book for it. Um, all right, TP, cool. Um, all right, I'll, I'll just I'll fight the brood mother and then I'll do the uh, I'll do the sorry the, the shard rank quest. Looks like there's a good spot. Well, maybe not. I guess I could like hide. Just I mean, it really doesn't matter. If I just hide right there, it should be good. All right, ready to go. I don't know if he's spawning it um, down there or what. Look at this cape, dude. Who's who's saying it? Rora. He he doesn't even have a cape. I mean, unless it's, yeah, I can see visualizings, but I can't see his. All right, here we go. Oh, here we go. Where's the brown one? I have not fought a boss in such a long time on here. Honestly, it has been ages since I fought a boss, so it's it's nice to be fighting a boss again. At the start of the map, I was fighting him left and right and just getting so many drop packages, but I just really haven't since then. Since like. Um, I haven't like had many like allies or truces to fight with. I just haven't really been able to. So this thing's almost dead. Uh, I don't really know. All right, I got I got one times ultimate. All right, that's that's cool. I'm fine with that. Um, I did 10% of the damage. Barely got 10%. I think it's 10%. You get an ultimate. That's pretty cool. Um, thanks. I'm just gonna say thanks. Um, well, wow. once cookies did 70% of the damage. <laughs> wow. And Roro only did 2%. That is a rip. Okay. I'm going to quickly put this ultimate away, we'll open it up in a second, and then we're going to do this shard rank quest. Um, doing a shard rank quest real quick. Hopefully these hopefully guys don't kill me. Um, I, I mean, I, I, I've been in the faction for about five minutes, and uh, I, feel, I feel like I can trust them enough. So, here we go. Um, we'll just wait for this to happen. 49, 48, this is going to be very quick. Do I have enough inventory space? Okay, what do you get? you get? Oh yeah, you only get three items, so I'm good. I'm I'm good. We're gonna item this like right at the last second when it has one second just to make people like go crazy. But well, it's not even gonna make them go crazy. I just want to item it. But yeah, I, I'm like I said in the last episode, I might buy some more fallen heroes. I don't really know if I want to spend any more money on here honestly because uh, I think I already have like a good amount of stuff. I have 11 G kits. Obviously, I have top rank, so I, I think I'm good honestly as far as like pay to win aspects go I mean 11 G kits is pretty darn good so I mean I'm I might get like paladin or something and try to fight it but we've got 10 seconds left on this let's go ahead and oh quickly item five four there we go item <laughs> the two one boom G G easy peasy rank shard 20k and 150k XP honestly um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep this 20k note oh Oh, okay, so he gave me all this stuff. I'm just going to keep this 20k note because it's like, it's signed Cosmic PvP. Like, why, why cash? It's 20k. I think it's pretty cool having a Cosmic PvP signed note. So let's go PV1, we'll put this away. Um, and then we've got the 150 MCMMO, which is awesome. Actually, I'll just redeem that. I'll redeem that really quick. We have 275 built up now. And then we have a rank shard. So we have rank shard, rank blizzard. We are stacked on the ranks right now. Um, but yeah. I, someone's already asked me what rank I'm in, because uh, if you do F show Jager 1311, it comes up with a different faction. So complexity. Um, oh, uh, my bad. Just applied it. Man, that sucks. I should have actually done that, but they, I, I, I applied it a little too late. Pay to win. Yep, pay to win. Um, okay, what what else was I gonna do in this in this video? I, I feel like I was about to do something. Oh yeah, open up the ultimate. Gosh, I I knew I was forgetting something. Let's go home to the blaze spawner. I'm gonna open up this uh, ultimate chest and see what we can get. Not really sure if I'm gonna get anything good, but yeah, you know, we'll go for it. So here we go. Open up the ultimate. Boom. Oh. Okay, a little bit of lag. Actually, no, we're going for four corners. Like four corners has been so good to us so far. So we're going four corners again. Here we go. Come on. 
Okay, that's not bad. We got a unique, an elite, and two simples. So simple, I mean, it's decent, but it's still pretty bad. That's pretty bad. That's that's really bad. And, oh, we got three chest plates and wood cutting levels. Okay, that is just a huge letdown. I'm gonna throw all this, these trash chest plates in there. And, um... Now we can go ahead and uh, we're gonna we're gonna go for it. And if this book doesn't work, I don't even know. I'm just gonna lose all hope in cosmic. Ooh, ooh. Okay, that's not. Uh, it's not that good, but it's not terrible. I was gonna say if that was like really good rates, that'd be a pretty sick just quick book opening. But yeah, not very good rates. So let's put a white scroll on the sword, and we're gonna add color four. Really hoping this works. Let me just make sure one again. Okay, there's no legend. No legendary dust. If this doesn't work, guys, Jacob luck is rip. Okay, it worked. Okay, I always get so scared. Like, I'm so used to hearing that sound of, like, the... Like, I don't know. I know. Uh, it's... I was gonna, I was gonna like, tinker a book and do the dust. Or tinker, yeah, whatever. I was gonna do that just so you could hear the sound, but... You guys know what I'm talking about. Like, when it just goes poof and your, 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 your thing doesn't apply. But there we go, guys. The grinding sword's basically done. It has Inquisitive 4, it has Rage, it has Shackle, it has Reforged. Um, we need... I guess we can put Featherweight on it. He did give me a Featherweight book, uh... We might as well put it on there. Like, why not? I mean, I don't think it really does anything, but let's just put it on there. We also need... Oh, no, we have Reforged. Okay, perfect. We have the Reforged. Um, and then other than that, we need uh, Double Strike. Do we have a Double Strike book? Um, double Strike. Oh, sweet. We can get Double Strike on there. And then I think that's it other than... Um, other than getting the killer of five, I think that's it. So let's go into the PV10. We need we need uh, 21 dust on that. So we got 10. We've got... Um, 17 and we need a four there we go perfect four so 21 dust on that so let's go ahead and apply all that 89 96 and 100 perfect and then we need 23 dust on this we got 14 17 oh we actually put that away so we got 14 plus 9 is i don't even know let's just apply it um 91 oh it, it's perfect 100 percent. okay there we go we will apply um we have five inch chance on this i think we can we're fine to add two so we can go ahead and apply double strike and apply featherweight dude that is such a beast looking sword we still um can apply uh unbreaking which i thought i had an unbreaking book it's i think it's in, like one of these random pvs Look at that. Sitting in PV12 with all the other random junk. We got an Unbreaking 3 book. So we're going to apply this. I think we have enough levels. Um, oh, and then, of course, of course, how could I forget? We need to use the item name tag to name this thing something beast. Um, no. Let's go spawn. Let's grab uh, some anvil stuff. And we're going to go ahead and put this sucker on the sword and rename it to Jaker GG. Jaker GG V whatever. I forgot what, uh, what it actually looked like, but I think it was like a... A, what was it? I think it was Jaker was like dark orange and then GG was in red I think we need to go look at the the item like the the color codes for for Minecraft so I need to go on my phone really quick um, mine Minecraft uh, color can't type color color codes okay there we go let's go ahead and go over here and grab some iron actually I think I already have iron yes we do so so it's a workbench Make some iron blocks. We're gonna need three of those. Perfect. Put those in there, and let's make this really quick. So, like I said, I uh, I don't remember exactly how I did the names, and I explained this in a in a past video about how I always rename my grinding swords to Jaker G G V whatever. So, let's go ahead and look right here. So we got color. Is this this isn't? Oh, there it is. Okay, I was gonna say I couldn't even find the right picture, but we got it. So. I believe we did actually was it I think it was the the golden so let's let's first go what was it wait what was this guy's name Biffid B Biffid what okay um wilderness actually let's go to our vault I think I'll be a lot safer at our vault uh, slash near if I got killed with this this all this stuff on me I would just probably quit cosmic all right I'm breaking three going on the sword I don't even think I need unbreaking three because it has reforge but why why not we might as well put it on there so we got that now we just need to go I'm gonna go back to spawn now since we don't need to use um, the anvil and I'll be safe and sound at spawn while I use this item name tag yeah so this is Jaker GG v4 I already renamed it to that we just needed to use like the right color code so let's go ahead and first test it out so we need to do um, and six I think it's and six and L for for dark bold um, you cannot use color codes in private messages Great, now I can't even test out the colors. Okay, 
Um, yeah. Uh, how... How am I going to test out the colors, then? Um, okay, this is, this is tricky. Do you put the and L... Do you put, do you put the, the bold before the color or after the color? Gosh, I can't remember, and I know it matters. Like, it really matters. So... I'm gonna be right back, and I'm gonna come back once I figure it out because I don't want to. I don't want to mess this up. I really don't want to mess this up. I think we're good now. Actually, I don't even know why I shut off my phone. I still need to look at the um, the actual codes for the colors because I don't know the the exact. Uh, I I I X'd it out. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Okay, let's go back over here. We're gonna rename this thing. But um, while I'm doing this. If you guys remember, like, way back in Season 2, I was, like, trying to rename my Sword of Rank Jaker, and over... I, I think I used, like, four item name tags, and I got them wrong, like, every time. And I finally got it right on the, like, the, the last item name tag. It was such a waste of item name tags, and, uh, it was pretty funny, honestly, because I, I kept messing up. But now that you can't even message yourself the colors, I don't even know exactly what colors I'm using. Like, I, I don't really know what I'm doing. So, we're gonna use this. So, hold the item name tags rename. So, they, well, let me just make sure... Um, and L after the color. So we do and six, right? Six is gold and six and L Jaker. Um, and then we'll do GG in red. So we'll do and um, C and L GG. And, and then in um, and seven, I think we'll do uh, italic for this, which is and O. Jaker GG uh, V4. Please work. Thank goodness it worked. I don't think that's the exact colors I had last season, but it's pretty close, and it looks good. Jaker GG V4 coming in with just a beautiful grinding sword. Like I said, we still need to get Killara 5, but overall, that is a beautiful, beautiful grinding sword. Um, I mean, it has everything you need, like I said, other than Killara 4, or 5. I don't know if I said that right just now, but... If you guys have any other suggestions for this, if I missed anything, I, I feel like I missed an enchant, but I think I have everything. If you guys know one more thing I need to put on here, just let me know. It has Reforge, it has Shackle, it has like the three main ones, and it has Double Strike and Inquisitive, or Double Strike and Featherweight. So let's we might as well go back home, Blaze. We'll test this thing out really quick, see how it works in this new Blaze spawner. I actually want to E-Pearl in here really quick and see how many Blazes are on here quickly. Okay, perfect. All right, so this, this Blaze spawner does not have too many. It has... Um, 12 and 15 so I don't know if this is like the main base or whatever but um, I'm guessing this is just a temporary thing because I'm like new to the faction but um, they have a really high faction value they're like f top 6 if you do such f top uh, complexity is uh, you can only wait oh when I when I typed it it put in chat um, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It worked fine. Okay. Um, but yeah, as you can see, complexity is F top six, 173 million in spawner value, and um, total wealth is 100. Wait, no, the total wealth is 173 million. The 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 spawner value is 118 million. Overall, this this grinder doesn't even work that bad, considering there's only like what 15 spawners. Um, it's not completely terrible. I think we need to go. Oh no, we we are able to pearl sweep. Easy, easy pearl. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Kind of a slow episode, but we got some stuff done and we joined a new faction. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, that was weird. I just inhaled a bunch of air at once. I, I tend to do that sometimes in my videos, and it comes out sounding really weird. But yeah. anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.